Good morning world and all who inhabit it. I have my natural hair out. Uh-uh, what else you on? Hold on, sorry y'all, you know I got Berlizzi playing in the background. Um, I look crusty. I have to do my hair. It's natural, so it's up in this little puff ball thing, whatever. Um, today I have a whole bunch to do. I have errands to do, I got shopping to do. Well, the errands is a part of my shopping, but you know your girl gotta go outside. I gotta go outside. And I was like, you know what? <clears throat> I need my makeup in a minute. So your girl wanna be cute. So I'm gonna do my makeup. I think I should exfoliate before I do makeup. And that's what I'm gonna do. If y'all see this little dry corner, I don't know what happened. I got a dry mouth at nighttime. And it's been eating your girl alive. Um, I'm getting my skin together. I am. I've been going to the dermatologist. I got an appointment next week. Everything. It is currently 8.55. Currently 8.55. So yeah, I gotta get my day started. I've been up since 7 o'clock. Oh, what's this? Oh, you didn't clean out all the way. That's okay. That's fine. But yeah, yeah I gotta go take a shower. <clears throat> Ooh. I gotta take a shower. Wash my face, brush my teeth. I'm gonna come back when it's time to do my hair and my makeup. And then we're gonna leave the house. But I just wanted to say good morning. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. I hope everybody's feeling good this morning. I hope everybody's feeling positive. It's a beautiful Saturday. We're gonna have a productive day. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let me go wash my behind first. Yes, there's a lot going on in the background. Don't talk about it, y'all. I have to do my hair. I'm do my hair, do my makeup. I'm really not gonna talk while I'm doing it. Y'all just gonna watch me do it. Look at And I, oh! What is that? Don't worry, it gets bigger. It gets bigger, boo. It gets bigger. Cause I'm not about to walk out the house with that. So I'm about to straighten my hair out and do a little bit of makeup. Well, not a little bit, I'm doing a full face, but I'm gonna do my hair, do my edges, you know, get it together, and then we're we'll gonna hit the road. All right. Matter of fact, y'all see that wig in the background too? I gotta do my hair, I'm not even finna show a full video, like doing my hair or what I gotta do, so we just gonna do this. y'all the makeup is finally done it looks super good i do think it looks it might be a little bit heavy i might want a little heavy handy but today but it's okay it looks super i was kind of going for like full coverage i think i want to try the juvia's place um foundation because i hear like the new one the new like hydrating one or whatever so yeah we're about to go hop in the car i gotta get some money and then let's start the errands babe because we got we got quite a lot to do we got quite quite a lot the girl is busy today. Let's make this day count. All right, we, we finna go, we finna go.
I'm outside in an AMG Right outside, TT Two turn, baby girl, you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas brown, me, I and they die Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by I'm outside in an AMG Right outside Caught a shorty off a fan star Just the one on the video, it's a great shot Way that I've been living, I'm conventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun adventure I could be a man, but maybe down the road Right now, I would love to see my heart turn to chrome Rather see my heart turn crystal Y'all, I'm going to keep the lashes on. I'm going to keep the brows. Like, let me look these bait wipes. I I can't do it. I don't even think I got makeup wipes in my purse. I haven't worn makeup in so long out. And my makeup is usually lighter than this. This ain't going to work for me, baby. This, this ain't going to work for me. So I'm about to go visit my boyfriend. I'm trying to figure out if I need two more pajama shirts. I'm trying to think, how many pajama shirts do you have? Cause so I bo just bought some shorts and two sets of pajamas. All right, y'all, I am on my bed. I'm nice and comfortable. I feel great. I feel good. I look good. I feel beautiful. My natural hair is out. I feel, I, I don't know, like I just feel gorgeous. But anyways, I didn't get to vlog as much as I wanted to because Tax season, them stores was packed, baby. When I say packed, I mean packed to capacity. Luckily, I really didn't have to wait no long lines. I just ended up going to Marshalls. I stopped by Five and Below for a second and Target. And I was like, dang, I might not be able to vlog that much like I wanted to, but I'm, like, I'm not finna waste the content. Like I could still, they still, they still gonna watch it. Y'all still gonna watch it, right? They still gonna watch it. And what else y'all gonna do? subscribe and thumbs up the video thumbs up it's very important that you thumbs up the video don't forget to do that but yeah i was like shoot i went shopping i bought a good amount of stuff i might as well you know share it with them so i went to target um glade came out with the air freshener came with an, another scent my bad glade air freshener came with another scent it's called limited edition it's limited edition it's not called limited edition it's limited edition um cotton cloud dream notes of airy clouds and cotton i don't know what a cloud smell like but if it smell like this it smell good this is what it look like y'all need to go copy it. it smells so freaking good it's so perfect light scent i hate that it's limited edition because like honestly just got it is really one of like my favorite scents like i love i love ear fresheners i love glade i do Item is this cognac sponge. This is from the Jessica Jessica Alba um, brand called Honest. I love her brand as well. Like I'm really into like clean skincare. Like take all the chemicals out. I don't want them. Well, let me all the bad chemicals. Take all the bad chemicals out. I, I don't want them. So this is the gentle cognac sponge. It's called In Above. I hope I'm pronouncing that word right. Don't come for me if I'm not. Just correct me. I used to do like the Vanity Planet um. Uh, spin facial brushes and there's nothing wrong with that but there's like so many different facial skin tools and oh it does this and oh it does that I'm like okay what's the best one like what's the best one and I will say like I really love this sponge and I really notice the difference with my skin and that's why I'm sticking to it and I haven't gone to like any brushes or anything like that so the next item is eco tools shower gloves absolutely love these these are my favorites um this is also like you know eco tools is an environmentally friendly brand as well absolutely love them sorry if y'all hear background noise and i still use my washcloth and stuff but i love these gloves <clears throat> now when it comes to body wash i do clean body wash too like you know the clean 
minimal uh chemical stuff like that or no chemicals i do the clean skincare as well um as far as my body wash and i usually do native but when i was in there i saw this new brand that i wanted to try and it's really the fact that the bottle was in one this just show you how like important aesthetics are because this just looks like so aesthetically pleasing to me like Come on, focus on the bottle, babe. This just looks like so aesthetically like the the bottle is Lumina, the color, the pump, the way it's shaped, like description. Like I will say, like the presentation for real is a ten. Um, I do we want to get away from plastic? We do, and it's called the brand is called Saltair. And this is their Santal Bloom Skin Rejuvenating Serum Body Washes. All of their body washes say serum body washes. She smells. Smell, I say she because it smells like really good, like something you know I would wear. It smells like kind of like an expensive cologne, not cologne, like a real expensive um, perfume, but it's clean, so it's like the best of both worlds, kind of. You feel me? Like sometimes when you hear scents inside of inside a body wash, you know people used to that. It's sometimes it's not too good. It's not good for you to have like heavily scented body washes unless you one of those people which sometimes is me i use separate washes for my body and my special part like sometimes the soaps is separate but if i meet one that ph level is good and it balances me out it doesn't disrupt my my pocketbook i can use it all over my body but sometimes you do got to separate the two i bought some tampons because you know i like to be ahead of time i like to have them ahead of time Honey Pot is my favorite brand. It's organic. My friends told me like I've used it before. They've tried the tampons as well. And they were like, um, yeah, I noticed my cycle is lighter and I don't cramp as bad. I said, that's organic, baby. That's that organic. Get hip to the, or I'm telling y'all, get on to organic tampons, organic everything, clean skincare. If you can't get on to it, like it's really a lifestyle for real. Like I promise you, I'm not going to stick on the wrong. I needed a new comforter. Uh, Target got a brand called Room Essentials and I wanted a color that I don't have before and I'm like really good at like only having neutral colors. No. So I got this pine green one, it's reversible. And it's like, um, <clears throat> it's light green. Oh, are you reversible? You not two colors? Uh, and it's light green on the inside and it's dark green on the outside, but I really got it because I like the pine green color. I went and got some Intimates. I got some Unzoa because Target was having four for 18. And I know y'all look like, girl, we got a Victoria's Secret. I'm not a Victoria's Secret girl no more. I really don't wear Victoria's Secret underwear anymore. Um, I'm a big girl. I've upgraded to the big leaves. If you wear Victoria's Secret underwear, you know, ain't no problem with that, but it ain't my cup of tea. I'm not doing it. Um, I went and got some underwear from them. I just got two gray thongs, just two thongs, and then I got some period panties because girls, Everybody need a pair of period panties, and if you can, girls don't be thinking about being cute on their period. We think about being comfortable, and we can't wait to get it over with. Okay, that's what we think about. So underwear do not be cute, and it don't matter. I got some bras. I love uh, Target sells a brand called Auden, like A U D E N. For pre per for reference, I am a thirty six double D, so I got two bras. Also, I don't like my bras heavily padded. They have to be lightly lined, lightly, lightly padded because I'm just, I don't need no extra help. That's how I feel. So I got a black one and I got a blue one. I literally used to wear push-up bras my whole life. And then it's like when I got, oh, maybe that's the difference. This one says underwire bra. Do you say the same thing? Because if not, I'll return you. Adjustable strap designed to reduce and poke through and hands. Oh, no, it's the same thing. It's just called a different thing, the everyday. I used to wear uh, push-up bras all the time. I even used to wear double bras when I was like an A cup back in like, if grandma mama knew, she was like, oh, you flat chested. Oh, and I used to be like, oh, yeah, I'm flat chested. And then I wasn't. Um... But now, now I don't like push-up bras. They're uncomfortable and they hurt. So, shows you how you change them like. What's the five and below? I just grabbed two t-shirts. These are gonna be my pajama tees. I'm gonna explain why. These are gonna be my pajama shirts. 
only because I just want them to be my pajama shirts. Even though they're really nice shirts, they're gonna be my pajama shirts because they're gonna match something. And I got them both, I got them in the same <clears throat> t-shirt because of the colors and I kind of wanted my pajamas to match. I got my pajamas from Marshall. I wish I had a dollar for every time I said pajamas. But I was five and below. Love five and below for the graphic tees. Oh, where did that receipt go? Don't fall over camera. Thank you. Keep y'all receipts. Keep y'all receipts. Um, love five and below for the graphic tees. Absolute favorite place. I don't know how many times I've bought graphic tees from five and below. They five dollars. Five and Below is really the golden ticket for real. Five and Below and Dollar General. No, no, Dollar Tree. So I needed another pair of gym shoes. Marshall's be the plug on the gym shoes too. Like little, now what I mean gym shoes, I mean these not gonna be my like, of course not my cute little outfit shoes, but these are my Aaron shoes. These are my um going to the gym shoes. And I, I bought another pair. Matter of fact, let me show y'all the other pair too. So I have two shoes. <clears throat> I'm trying to become that person who buys the shoes before they actually need them because then when you need them, like you need them. So these are my, my little gym shoes. Probably one of them gonna be my work shoe. This for sure can go to the gym. They're super comfortable. Just, let me see, let me see. Slip them right on. Just like that. Real nice, real comfortable. And I thought they were cute. But for the most part, they're comfortable and they're gonna do what I need them to do. Which is go to the gym. So, that's that. But the other pair are like these little Puma shoes. Also, they're all men's. Men's fit better. The little Pumas, like these what they look like. And they're soft foam, love, some, love Puma soft foam collection. And this will probably most likely be like my work shoe because it's all black. That's what these look like. <clears throat> and I was just like, okay, I don't need nothing fancy. Like, this cute and simple, and it's gonna get the job done. And um, that's what I needed to do. I just need you to do what I need you to do. So, the plumas were originally 60. Then I got them from um, Marshalls for 40. The Adidas were originally, we love Marshalls, 50. And I got them for 34. So if you ask me, I hit the jackpot and I'm so happy I found something, found a pair each time. Let's get into the pajamas and we about to be done. So I threw some pajamas out so I need to replace them. I got these pajama shorts, they was two for $10, originally 16. Some regular pajama shorts and then these ones, they're super soft by the way. They're super soft, they feel great. They feel great, I will say that. Like, Born is a good brand in general. They make shoes and the shoes are great. You knew the pajamas was gonna be, you know what I'm saying? You knew the pajamas was gonna be amazing. Then, I'm sorry, like, oh my God, are these medium? I hope these fit me. I got these Juicy Couture shorts. I didn't know these were medium, I thought these were. No, did I know these were medium? I did know these were medium. Juicy Couture shorts because um, I've been obsessed with Juicy Couture since I was a kid. And I'm probably gonna start buying it clothes soon because I love Juicy Couture still to this day. I'm 23 and I still love Juicy Couture. But that's what they look like. As y'all can see, what color do y'all keep seeing reappear? Like, the FFR. I got this matching set. It's the pajama pants. This is from Hurley, the brand Hurley. They were originally $23. I got them for $15 or $14.99. It's just a little top, goes with it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. Then I got these pajamas from Nine West. They were originally $23. And now they are, what did I get them for, $15? I got them in a large. Most of my pajamas, most of everything I wear is in a large. So that's what these look like. And the repeating color was pink. All my pajamas I got were pink. Like, I was like, you say you love pink, you don't have none pink for it. Love the pajamas, the pajamas were pink. So, yeah, yeah, that's all I got from Target and Marshalls. Um, I need to go get my two pants. 
from Abercrombie. Not Abercrombie, American Eagle, but I might wait on those. But yeah, y'all, that was everything. Um, I had a good day. It was busy. I did good because for the most part, I told myself like, you know, do not buy anything you don't need. I'm getting better at that. Buying what I need when I go in the store and sticking to my list. It takes discipline. It really does. Or being like, you know what? You can wait till next time. Just, you can wait till next, it can wait. It's still gonna be there. Like, I've gotten better at doing that because I used to be in part like, no, I need it like, I need it now. Like, I need it, I need it right now. And I'm like, it can wait till next time. It's okay. Like, there is, there's no rush, babe. Like, relax. But yeah, I hope you guys like this little vlog of mine. Um, sorry it wasn't like as detailed or as, as extravagant. But yeah, I was really busting in them stores. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment for me. And for real, make sure to like the video. So serious. It helps out a lot. Connect with me on my socials that will be listed down below. And I will see y'all in the next video. Have a blessed day.